Yeah, definitely this one. These are must. I use these probably the most. Okay. I would say just because it works so well over these areas, especially if somebody's really locked up. Okay. I use them myself. Do you see an improvement with the hexapolar over the quadrupolar I do. slide? Or? Yeah, over more muscle tissue, I see this one working better. Um, probably just because it's got the more, um, I don't know what you call Alternating it. Alternating poles? Yeah. Okay. And um, so more around joints, just because these go a little bit deeper, I tend to use those. The dash rings. Okay. The quad. And um, yeah, but I, I really like the hex. That's, more okay. than often the ones I gravitate towards these days. Okay. Um, but you know, but like I said, this is just how I kind of do it. Just a little oversimplified, maybe. Um, so, like I said, anywhere there, shoulder, same thing. You know, whether you want to get back at the cuff, take it over there. If it's a bicep tendon, same difference. This actually works really good for that. And then um, another really, really good one, just because this is like a tough thing to treat, I always find. Kind of oddball wrist pain that's just not getting better super hard to treat i've had especially when it comes around the thumb in yeah, that uh -huh. area if you just palpate around uh -huh. get that tender spot anywhere right in here even for a, an helps. arthritic situation yeah yeah it can help but i have a ton of success with wrist pain okay right there that stuff always seems to be one of the more difficult things to treat sometimes. Um, just kind of that random, oh, my wrist yes. hurts, not sure why, all that yep. stuff. Usually, I work the soft tissue through here, needle, and then... Why do you think they're other, rather than the local point over the wrist? Um, I, I would just say this is where the muscle bellies are at. I'm not sure. Um, probably the most tension on the muscles involved down there. That so would the be my guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, intestine it's, channel. it's on the channel, so I mean, it, it should work just based on that alone, but tends to work extremely well right there. Surprising. Okay. I think Matt Callison has a point that he loves to use right here for all kinds of stuff as well. So I, I didn't know that until this last classes, weekend. But I'm not, yeah. you know, that's more lung channel. This is large intestinal, but there might, you know, and, and he I uses just, motor points. And I just palpate around for the yeah, most, and find, the yeah. most tender, you know, you can yeah. usually find it like right there for me. Boom tape it on there and you know kind of the same thing you can either palpate and, and find it or you can just have them move and then put it on and move again and if you're in a really good spot then it's better it's your, almost your instantly apply kinesiology we can do that too. Test it too. yeah or like something simple you know you can just check the ow you know and then you feel like right right there is a pretty good spot um and sit up nice and tall for me Yep. I'm gonna push down on your arm pretty hard. Okay. Hold strong. Good. One more time, hold. And so I'm just gonna press my thumb there. Same thing, hold strong. And oh! You get pretty weak right away. Whoa! And then we'll put that right there. Hold Same it. Thing. Hold strong. Okay. Solid. But if you use like a really big one, hold strong. Doesn't not. seem to get the tissue. That's weird. So like bigger this. is not necessarily better. Exactly. So this Isn't hits the true? tissue That's better. The field somehow. Somehow get we don't to that know why. Depth more, Maybe it just goes effective. too. Be it goes beyond it. I'm not sure. It goes too deep. It just seems to be. You know, you think it still work. You know, pretty good, and it probably does. But this works better. So that's why I go with those right there. Hold strong. Yep. So that's a simple way to. Kind of like double check yourself. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, and that's where the that's white hole really is, it, and it's just just a little further. Mm -hmm. That's a common spot too, anyways. And um, same thing, arm out real quick. I'm just gonna give a little push there. It, with the scar, it's gonna be really jumpy, and it sure is. Definitely right there, pretty good spot. And you can go ahead and relax that. And um, one great way to like. Like if somebody's really hurting, then you're probably not right now, so it won't be a great example. But you can go ahead and turn your head left and right. Any pain with that at all? A little bit on this side. Okay, a little bit, so we'll take that. 
and then we're gonna put that right there. And sometimes you gotta try multiple spots, but go ahead and do it again. See if it helped. Actually, it helped a little bit, yeah. yeah and it usually helps just instantaneously wow. like that. And you can fish around and, and get a little more fine tuned. So like, it helped there. Okay, cool. Let's try, let's feel around and try like maybe another spot, maybe just down a little bit. And then you can do it again. Sometimes, you know, you hit one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Better or worse, same? A little bit better. Okay, so that's even better down there. And you can, that's one way you can fine tune your spot. Just put it on, move around. It seems like this is a pretty good spot to put it. So yep. we would just roll with that. And then it's that simple. It takes that long. I mean, it's fast when you kind of know where you're.